The Vino Bonorama was something we started to develop more racing community and just racing opportunity in Vienna. Um, it's a training race series that happens six times over the winter, which gives you a great reason to, you know, train throughout winter and it'll bring you into spring with good fitness. Um, the goal is just to provide a fun, welcoming environment for people to try out track racing. Format of the races, we started out originally doing three races only, and then we found that there was so much interest in it that we needed to do more for everyone. So what we've adapted to now is one kind of separation race where everyone starts together. And what we do is we treat that kind of like a endurance test to see who has a certain level of fitness and who is just at a different fitness level. So with that, we'll then take those main group and split them into two. And then after that first race, we actually have a break so everyone can recover. And in between that break, what I find is, or what we've developed and really cool is we've been working with um, the junior teams to allow for them to have juniors races. Um, people as young as nine years old racing and in different groups and different racing formats. <clears throat> so they have a place to come as well to try it and hone their skills and do more. And once they're done with their four races, then we have two, the last two races where we have what we consider the A group and the B group. Um, the B group races first. And then once the B group is done, then we have the A group. <clears throat> and once the A group is done, the race, the racing evening is finished and we'll have a small podium ceremony for everyone and then it's done. So with, the, with track cycling, there's so many different disciplines for it. There are sprint events, there are endurance events, there are team events. Um, unfortunately, due to time restrictions with the Bonorama, we can't run all of those types of events. And <clears throat> it doesn't, it's not really conductive for everyone to have fun. So what we try and focus on mainly are more endurance group events like uh, points race, endurance race. Um, and with a lot of attention, we actually started another training day completely separate of the Bonorama um, for Madison training. So you can come out and see what Madison is like and learn how to sling your partner and to be slung and how, how much fun that is and just experience the different facets of track cycling. So a lot of people ask us how they can get into track cycling and how they can give it a try. Um, unfortunately at the moment through the Velodrome and the Sportverband there is no rental bikes or demo bikes that you can get from them. Um, <clears throat> hopefully with growing interest we might be able to change that in the future. Uh, but at the moment, like I said, we there is no option for that. Although it's not very hard to ask somebody if they have one you can borrow, or I can almost guarantee that someone in your close group of friends knows somebody or themselves has a bike that you could try if you wanted to. You just have to show interest and reach out and pretty much everyone on the track is trying to help everyone else either on the track or get on the track so it's not so difficult to come and give it a try. For getting started with track cycling, the main thing, the main and realistically only thing that you have to do is go to the Austrian Cycling Federation website, fill out the form for a training license and email it to them. Uh, then you'll have to pay for the license. It's roughly 105 euros for someone who doesn't have a road racing license and you're fully insured and then you can come at any training opening hours and give it a go. One thing that we would like, or I personally, and I believe that my, my counterparts also agree would be a great thing to see is more uh, female cyclists coming out. Track cycling is such a great sport for everyone and we keep trying to get more and more women and more and more girls to come out so that once we have a large enough field of them, we can have their own race. So they don't have to feel like they always have to race with guys. It's 
I would love for them to have their own race. And then of course, if they wanted to do a second race with everyone else, they're more than welcome and everyone's more than welcome to do that as well. Um, but what we really want is equality and like a growth of the sport on every level from kids to masters, from boys to girls, women to men, doesn't matter. Everyone's welcome and everyone should have a chance to go fast and turn left.